Sages, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a look at what the next 72 hours has in store for you. Any information that you may be looking for will also be listed in the description. So just check there and let's see what's going on. Okay, so I already pulled two cards. I'm going to slow down because I started to pull all of them. So first card we have is the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles talks about us seeing potential opportunities and needing to capitalize on them. And it also talks about us having certain plans in mind for what we want to do and needing to have that push, that inspiration, or even that sense of gall, right? To say, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to try. And the next 72 hours is going to challenge you to not have this sense of self-doubt or leaning in it because you can't not have have like anxiety or self-doubt or negative thoughts like it's impossible to banish those things from happening and we don't ever want to banish them we want to be able to use them in a useful way and understand what those things even mean in the first place um, and not be unrealistic in the sense of trying to force ourselves to not experience very natural things like anxiety and uh, self-doubt and whatnot, those things push us to be better if you know how to use it properly. So self-doubt can teach us to build confidence because it pushes us to apply things, to try different things that we normally wouldn't if we were overly confident. Being overly confident going into anything is literally ignorance in the sense of not understanding that so many outcomes can play out and we need to be a student in all forms but anywho so it's important to remember this we want to move though in a way where we let the anxiety inspire us we let the self-doubt inspire us and i think that's what the next 72 hours is going to do for you sorry we got cut off okay so we got the two of wands so the two of wands represents in the sense of uh career and finance the two of wands represents having to navigate which way to move in your like direction in your career. So this could be, should I stay in this job or should I move into a different one? Should I stay in this career as a whole or venture into a different career? You're having to assess that over the next 72 hours or you have been even beyond this window of time. You also could be in a space where you're assessing like whether or not moving, relocating may be in your best interest, especially if you have been like trying to apply to jobs, trying to, you know, wait for opportunities to just naturally come in and it's been none. It's like, okay, maybe I should explore what else is out there for me. Maybe I should move to a different area. Now, going into love, I have the Empress. So there could be a family situation that you really would love to bring back into balance and to get it back to a grounded place. This could be with a Taurus. This could be with a Libra. It doesn't even have to be a family situation, just a love interest where you really wanted things to grow and expand and you guys were growing and expanding and then things just went left i'm also seeing what the empress for my singles if you are a parent your children family could be a focal point for you you could be looking for somebody who's family oriented somebody who could be looking for you know marriage uh serious commitment A lot of you also could be realizing that you're growing as a person. So what you wanted or what you expected from people previously is not what you're looking for now. Now, the challenge we have, we have the hangman. So the challenge could be wanting things to speed up and things are not as fast as you would like them to be. Also, you could be on a break from a love interest, 
from a job okay and things could just feel like it's moving slower than usual when it comes to hearing from them or to hear back from a job or to know what's happening in general you could just feel like things are moving slower in your life and you could be wanting to understand why and the reason why is because some of you have been in a self self-reflective mode for way too long I always say this, we don't want to exist in a space to where we stay in self-reflective mode. That's somewhere where we go temporarily and then we get up out of there. And we focus on what we've learned from that. Um, but we don't wanna exist for months in a, a, a space of reflecting, reflecting, reflecting when there's nothing to reflect on for that long. <laughs> Like the, the key to reflection is to observe action. So we how much reflecting are we really doing if we're in a state of pause for extremely long periods of time? We haven't collected any new data. We haven't made any new assessments of our situation, of our own behaviors, how we're showing up. So yes, but going into the advice, we have the five of pentacles. So it's important that you don't go into a mind frame of lack. Poverty is a mindset than a financial situation because you can have million dollar ideas just needing the capital to make it happen. Okay, you can be somebody who doesn't have much, but you make million dollar, million dollar, ugh, excuse me. You make million dollar decisions with how you manage your money that's going to put you in position over time and you can have a lack mindset where you don't believe that there's an opportunity to progress from your situation and that there's no hope or an unwillingness to learn that is a big piece of a poverty mindset is the unwillingness to learn from bad financial decisions um, or to learn about money as a whole Anywho, with the five of pentacles, it's also important if you are going to be separating yourself from certain friend groups, family members, uh, people, that mean you know good, that you don't go into a space of guilt tripping yourself or allowing regret to tear you up from the inside to where it now becomes a mechanism of torture for self, okay? If you are going to do what's in your best interest, you don't need to be putting this pressure on yourself to make everyone else happy in that process to where you're second guessing your decisions now the last card i have the queen of wands so there could be an aries sagittarius or leo of significance or this could speak to just your energy as a whole and you could feel a lot more motivated uh, a lot more driven you could be finding yourself also really attracted to someone uh, during this time frame. It could be their energy. It could be their aura. It could be that and the way that they look. You also could be in a space of like trying to pour your energy into the right things. You could find that you get distracted giving your time and energy to the wrong people, the wrong things, and it starts to become like a distraction that takes you off your A-game. But this is what I see. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.